here we are. We have the Itadori rework in Heaven's Arena. Now, this is actually a really good rework. It's actually really, really well made. And his kit is very long, so we're going to try and speed this up as much as we possibly can. So first skill we have is Manji Kick. Now this skill is a counter. And if you press it again, uh, it'll do a punch. So it looks like this. But it doesn't wall splat the enemy. So like you can't get nothing off of that. And also before that, my bad. I forgot to go with the Black Flash meter at the right. So with the Black Flash meter, basically how it works is that um, if you're in close proximity of your enemy, the meter will fill up. And then your next M1 or attack or anything will fill up very, very fast. As you can see, I'm next to enemy, so you can see the red bar is filling up. If the red bar fills up, it enhances my next skill or my next M1. It makes it uh, have a bonus property of wall splat. So as you can see, now Manji Kick uh, will wall splat. And then, yeah, I can get more damage off it. So it's pretty cool. But uh, obviously, um, it doesn't apply while you're comboing an enemy. So as you see, the bar paused. And also, it won't apply if you're getting hit. If you're getting hit, you start going down a meter. So like, it's a little weird. And even if you're at max meter, it'll go down. So yeah, just keep that in mind. It's pretty much like a thing that just stacks on more damage. You don't really have to pay too much attention to it. You literally just get it randomly while just playing the game. So, yeah, don't pay too much attention to that. But, yeah, it works on your M1s. And it gives people a lot of evasive. So, like, look at this. Sometimes you're trying to go for a normal combo. Look at that. He's already at half evasive. It's pretty crazy. But, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, back to the one. Uh, the counter portion of the skill is pretty good. But uh, you can't combo with some of it. So, um, even if you have Black Flash, if I'm correct... You can't combo some of it either so it just does a huge amount of damage it's like 27 percent so that's a lot of damage if you have a black flash if there's no black flash it's like 20 percent so you can't combo some with the counter but uh if you are using this portion you can call in a la carte if you use the punch portion so yeah it has two uses but just pick whichever one you need next skill we have a swift exorcism this skill is a barrage this skill is pretty good because you can cancel the barrage at any time and also you can combo some of it so like you can just cancel it early if the body get evasive and then slam down or you can just keep holding it and moving with it it's actually a really good barrage doesn't guard break though uh your main way of getting guard breaks is gonna be your one because your one guard breaks but only the punch portion of course because the kick version obviously that's a counter next skill we have is divergent fist now this skill right here you basically buff your fist obviously it's divergent fist uh there is like a second hit to it that's literally how a divergent fist works you basically do punches and there's like an after effect afterwards it's actually really good because divergent fist stacks on all of your attacks so like if you do anything it adds extra damage to it a lot of extra damage to it so like as you can see simple combo 32 percent that's not even really a combo it's literally just some ones it stacks a bunch of damage and also there's a second part to divergent fist uh there's like a little slam part like that but it only hits you can only do it once while you activate virgin fist and that thing's pretty good because um if you were to do like a combo like look at this damage just just take a look at the damage oh my god he's getting shredded and then you slam him down the grounded part can hit grounded so it's pretty good uh, I don't even combo some of it though, unless you get a wall splat though, but you get a lot of damage off that. Like, as you can see, that did almost half his health, and all I used was two skills. So, yeah, this dude has crazy damage, especially if you get some black flashes in there. If, <laughs> But they get evasive very, very fast because of it. But that's pretty much it for his base. Now we're going to go into Enchain. This is his Awakening. You basically turn into Sukuna, but uh, there's two parts to this Awakening, or two versions of this Awakening. So, for the first version, you just turn into Sukuna normally. Uh, but the second version, you can turn to your assist, but I'll go over that later. First skill with Sukuna, we have is Dismantle. Now, this skill is pretty cool because, as you see, there's like a little line on the floor. And uh, all of Sukuna's skills can combo extend, except Fuga. That's the only skill you can't combo extend with. Now, with this Dismantle skill, you can pretty much execute people if they're below 20%. If they're not below 20%, um, it's not going to execute. And it only executes if you do the, like the full line version. This version is different from like this version. So, if you do the full line version, it'll execute if they're below 20%. So, look at this. Look at that. Executed. Very, very strong. Um, if you don't execute them, however, it just becomes like a normal attack. And also, your Black Flash stuff works while you're in Sukuna. My bad. I forgot to say that. But if you don't use um, the other version, it can just become a regular combo extender. And then you can just do combos with it. So, it's not bad. It does a lot of damage. And you can still turns with it because... Uh, it doesn't guard break, but if you full charge it, it'll guard break. So look. So yeah, 
You can set up combos with that. It's really nice. Second skill we have is Cleave. Now, this is probably his main way of starting combos because this move is auto-aim. And you pretty much just do that. Boom. Start your combo. And then you just combo your enemy. It's really nice. If you catch your enemy not blocking for a split second, instantly cleave them. And as you can see, cleave has hella range. So you can just cleave from very far. Look at that. I'm not even aiming at that guy. <laughs> I mean, you... you would want to be but like you don't have to be like you can just be right here and it will hit it's very very generous hitbox you basically just see them not blocking oh cleave them start your combo go into the air do dismantle do cleave if you didn't use it in the air i mean on the ground and then after you're on the floor you don't want to use fuga and fuga this skill is really good because this move has iframes while you're charging it and you basically just try and snipe somebody so you can turn with it do whatever you want it's really stupid and if you kill somebody with it, it has like a little cool effect on it. It will just burn Nash on the floor. It's actually really sick. But Fuga, um, this thing does heavy damage. Obviously, this move hits grounded. Uh, this is the only grounded hitting move, and Sukuna does not have an assist, so you'd want to save this for grounded. But if you don't have to, if you don't have it to save for grounded, uh, you can just use your domain expansion. But as you can see, it burns the enemy afterwards, and it does a lot of burn damage, a lot. So it's actually a really, really strong move. And before we run to the malevolent shrine. Uh, we have another skill on your one, which is reverse curse technique. This skill, you basically uh, heal yourself for a little bit of HP. And uh, that little wall right there, that, that red right there, that's a wall. That's basically you blocking. So it's actually really nice because it can just, I think, iframe skills. Let me check it. It says block attacks in front. So I don't know if you can get guard broken while you're doing it, but you can get a good heal. So it's not a bad skill at all. And the last skill we have is domain expansion, malevolent shrine. Now this is his ultimate, obviously. This move can hit grounded, so if you were to ground somebody, it'll work. Everybody nearby gets hit. The skill is blockable, but if they do block it, they take heavy chip damage. So yeah, that's pretty much how uh, Malevolent Shrine works. It does heavy damage and it's very strong. And that's pretty much how Sukuna works. It's very simple and not really too complex. As long as you just read the stuff. I didn't read the stuff for you. I just kind of just skimmed it and just pretty much summed it up. It's very simple though, but yeah, it just looks overwhelming because there's a lot of stuff written there, but just don't get overwhelmed by it. Also, uh, what Sukuna can do is that he can turn into his assist. So if you hold it for, you will tell him to your assist. It's actually really cool because uh, you get a unique gimmick with it. As you can see, I'm using a la carte assist. So I can turn into a la carte. And now I get to play as a la carte. Now, the only thing I can't use is RCT. I can't use reverse curse technique, but I can do uh, use an assist move, which is stolen technique. And with my stolen technique, I use a la carte's assist. <laughs> so yeah, you pretty much do everything you can do uh, except reverse curse technique. So you cannot heal yourself, but you can use Fuga, you can use Domain Expansion, you can use literally everything. Same skills as usual. That's the only thing you can't use. But it's a pretty good trade-off because if you're using a strong assist um, and you're max HP, uh, you don't really need reverse curse technique. And still, you can use Limit Break. So like, it's not like you don't have any ways of healing. So yeah, there's that. And anyway, that's pretty much it for uh, all the card. Uh, these are matches I filmed on stream last night. First match I played, I fought some Giga Sweat that was God rank. You're not gonna see that footage. <laughs> that's for the streamers only. But every other match was pretty free. This character is very, very strong. And uh, yeah, he's pretty solid, but uh, I'm probably not gonna stick with him because my main finally got buffed. So I'm definitely gonna be playing some Gohan. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll probably do another video with Gohan soon because his buff is really nice. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, hit the sub button, like the video. And this is a pretty unique thing he has after his awakening ends. Look at his face, it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go into ranked and hope y'all enjoyed this video. There's another poll they want. We have NBA had a nerfed again. Oh wow. Well. I'm not surprised. She was, she was really annoying to fight. Oh, wow. <clears throat> she is in balance? I don't know how good she is now. I gotta I got try her. When I do my video, I'll try her. Just haven't been playing. All I've been playing is Grand Blue these past few days. I'm about to be on Grand Blue after this. Damn, I feel like I'm giving so much evasive. Oh, I could have just divergent. Whatever. His divergent is sick, though. Oh my god, that thing is so fast.
Jesus, the damage is crazy on that. Gotta watch out for that uh, Orchimaru assist. Thing is dummy first. Ah, oh. why is it attached to me even if I block it? <clears throat> I gotta be careful now since people can 360. Well. Uh, attack behind you now. I gotta actually turn my block now. Gotta get used to doing that. I'm so used to having this 360 degree block. Gotta get that out of my system. I wish it would TP though. If you, uh, if you Maji kick somebody. But it oh, it is a shockwave on the floor. I didn't know that. I'm just gonna chain here. Basement wasn't even that good before it got buffed. You just, just, just block. But didn't block? <laughs> oh, that didn't reach. How many. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty good. Damn, he's on fire still. Oh my god, Orochimaru assist got me when I was using dismantle. Annoying assist. I'm gonna use RCT here. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't make you hold after immediately afterwards. Okay, got it. Oh, I gotta use the main expansion soon. Damn, that didn't reach. No. No. Fuck. Do this. <clears throat> right before I died. Oh, look at that damage. Use it raw? No, oh, I could have. I don't know. I don't know the radius of it. I forgot to rely that. I manji kicked and didn't do anything. I was about to say. I was about to say, does that have iframes? Uh, yikes. <laughs> that have iframes, that would have been a fat yikes. Holy hell, every match really is an Itadori Mirror match. That's why I hate when games drop updates with one character. <laughs> Oops. I made to do that. That was my fault. There's one K. Oh, he's free? Oh, that's the problem. <laughs> He's free. Oh, that makes more sense. Oh, you can't punish that? Oh, that's Mick. He has lingering iframes at the end of it. He whiffed the divergent fist slam, but there's... How do you forget to remove that? What? <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> we did the same thing! <laughs> we both did the same thing! Did this kill? Nah, I was close though. He has like 1 HP. If I didn't mess up my combo at the start there. Oh, okay, yeah, the move is bugged. Manji kick is killing you even if you counter. I countered and I did the kick, but I died at the same time. What? Riveting <laughs> gameplay. You did the punch? I pressed it once, what? 
Whatever. Doesn't matter. End of this damn match, I'm getting out of here. Wait, can I just Fuga him? <laughs> what I tell y'all, chat? What I tell you, that move is Mickey. What I tell y'all, that move is Mickey. He can't do nothing about it. <laughs> That's Mickey as hell. I told y'all that shit is Mickey. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Why do you have iframes in the middle of that? It's so stupid. <laughs> this game is like against punishment. I don't know why. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> Stole his combo. <laughs> Crap. Nah, get back over here. I say get back over here, boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm in this match. What? It took my cleave cooldown. I missed. Oh, nice game. Nah, this character is overtuned right now. I cannot lie, he's overtuned right now. He's definitely gonna need some nerfs, but. They're probably not gonna nerf him anytime soon. Marketing strat. Damn, every single match is a mirror. <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, I'm not complaining because I'd rather fight a mirror than some dude that's playing his damn main, sweating his balls off. Yeah, I should not be using all the card assist with this. Damn, that has like no cooldown. Actually got it back. Oh, he's dead. Wow. The, the two has like no cooldown. He used to buff the cooldown of the two. Ooh. Two has literally zero cooldown. Jeez, look at the damage. What? And chain speed run? What you know about that? God damn! <laughs> that was like what? <laughs> this character's stupid. Ah, oh, I should have released it. I wanted the guard break. That's why. Wow! Oh, it doesn't reach. Oh, his black flash proc. Damn, he is still on fire. I can't see his M1s. Oh, yeah, I forgot it executes. Damn, I forgot. Sheesh. Yeah, this character is pretty stupid, man. I can't cap. I don't feel nothing when I'm playing this dude. It just, I feel numb because the Bruh. is brain dead. You can just steal con like if you see an enemy not blocking for a split second, just pop cleave. Oh, that not work. What? He's cool though, but like he's ridiculously stupid. Only the four incantation X. Heal before. Wait, did he give up? I thought he was popping a chain. Oh, he gave up. Oh. Okay. Damn, every single match. Oh, what the what? Mm, 
Nah, this brother's lost. Oh my god. Oh, the Divergent proc the Black Flash. That's funny. <laughs> like the second hit proc the, his Black Flash. Bro, that setup got nerfed, buddy. Like, stop trying it. <laughs> oh, crap. I forgot you can't do that. I, I keep thinking I'm playing Gohan. You, well, you just punch them at the wall. You can just call your assist. Bro. Our divergents are going to run out, bro. Let's fight. Yo, stay alone. Thanks for 13. The combos don't really even matter with this character. His damage is just so high. Like. Actually crazy. I'll use all this time. Bro, what is he doing? He's trying to hit me in the middle of the cutscene. Oh, why am I so low? Oh I oh crap, I can't use RCT. Can I just pop this roll? Y'all said I could. Did you not block? Hey, why didn't he block? Wait, he really didn't block that? <laughs> That's funny. That's actually funny. <laughs> wow, he just got cheesed. <laughs> yeah, nice TP, idiot. Oh, couldn't do nothing about it. Bro, as long as you have aim, you can just always confirm Fuga. It's actually so stupid. Bro, I caught you not blocking? He's burning the death. Burn don't kill though, do it. Jesus. Nah, this guy is stupid, bro. Once you figure out how to play him, he's just stupid. <laughs> Like, I, I, like, I'm not even, like, getting hype winning these matches with this dude because he's overtuned right now, bro. I, I just don't. <laughs> I, like, I don't know. Yeah.